introducing my newest Lego set, Lego Star Wars 7-5-3-4-8, the Mandalorian Fang Fighter vs. TIE Interceptor. This is a 100-hour set, 957 pieces. It comes with three minifigures as well as a droid, so technically four. This comes with two separate builds here. So you build the first here with the first three bags, that's the Fang Fighter, and you build the TIE Interceptor here with the last four bags, which is pretty cool because if you want to build it with a friend, your husband, wife, partner, whatever, you can build it together and you can build it simultaneously. If y'all are new here, slap that subscribe button because I have some cool plans. I'm gonna compare this with an older model, not this model, but I'm gonna compare this to another Lego set, Star Wars set, I think it's kind of like in the same ballpark. We're also gonna do the same thing with this. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. So without further ado, I'm gonna go over both the builds, the, uh, the minifigures, I'll let you know if I think it's worth picking up. It's a $100 set. I picked it up for $80 in sale at Costco. I'll let you know if I think it's worth picking up at $100, at $80, or if you just wait even longer. Let's do this. All right, so first up, we're gonna go over the Fang Fighter. And these are the two minifigures that come with the Fang Fighter if it were to be its own separate like Lego set in general. These are the two figs that came in the bags for this set here. So we'll also go over the figs for this one, and then we're gonna switch over and do the TIE Fighter afterwards go over the figs that come with that. So first up, here it is in all of its glory, if you want to call it that. So I'm going to be honest here. The ship, it just doesn't do it for me. Now, as you all know, this is based off of The Mandalorian Season 3, and it's supposed to be pretty much the last episode of Season 3. This is supposed to be one of the final battle scenes, fight scenes, whatever you want to call it, and it didn't even happen. It was like a glimpse, I think, of like some photo art. So this never actually appeared in the episode or enough for you to like really know. Look, I love when this happens. When, when I'm doing a review and something falls off, it always like, I think it's a good thing. And I'm not going to edit that out. I never will. Because when you're playing with these things, you want to know how it goes or how things are, fragile or not, while you're playing with them. There were no stickers here. That's a printed piece. I love that one. I don't think there was any stickers in this entire build, actually, which is pretty good. So... Here it is. It's one of my least favorite ships. I'm not going to lie. It's just like, it's like a flat ship. It just doesn't really do it for me. You have your little stud shooters there on the bottom, as you can see. It's just not something that I really enjoy building. And it's something that I probably won't have on display. It's probably going to go in some type of uh, like cabinet or box or something like that. I have, I have to have it obviously for the collection, but the, the build itself just did not do it for me. Not my favorite. All right, so now what did do it for me is the minifigure lineup. I love these minifigures, so we're gonna do something a little different here. I got it on the stand. Some of y'all have said, Zach, you should put this thing on a stand and let it spin around. So that's what we're going to do. I love this minifigure. The Mando figure here with the, uh, the brown armor just really does it for me. I know it's not accurate to the show. He has a nice arm printing. He does have a face. Now, something that some folks have been upset about is the dark saber it doesn't have its own like special print and you know what i am okay with that i don't really care about accessories too much so i know it'd be cool to have some like special mold but i'm okay with not having it and then mando does have a nice printed face it's nice that we got to see his face after all those seasons uh here he is his jetpack there so all in all I think I really, really like the Mandalorian minifigure here. The helmet looks really, really good. Now the helmet quality has definitely, whoop, the helmet quality has definitely improved over the years, which is really, really nice to see. I'm trying to get in there so you don't see like all the glare. Uh, I love this helmet. And now we're gonna switch over to what I think is the prized figure in this set. The Mandalorian Fleet Commander, and he looks phenomenal i think this figure will be similar to the mandalorian starfighter starship that came out not too long ago and it has since retired the figure lineup in that set was awesome had some really cool mandalorian minifigures this mandalorian minifigure right here this fleet commander this is exclusive to my knowledge and it looks really really good so if anything you're going to want to get your hands on this set specifically just for this figure in my opinion if you don't really care about all the sets or all the builds you're going to want to have this set for this now 
We'll take his helmet off here. He has a printed face as well. And he comes with a hairpiece, which is kind of confusing to me because I think most of the Mandalorians don't take their helmets off. Um, but for some reason did. And it came with this like extra accessory piece here, which again, you know my feelings on accessories. Don't really care to it. It will just go in some type of extra pieces draw. I like the face with the eyebrows. And it looks really, really sharp. Uh, he has two faces here. He's got another smiley face there on the back. Looks really, really good. So if anything, get this set specifically for this minifigure. Now let's move on to the TIE Interceptor. The first fig that would come with the TIE Interceptor is R2E6. And he looks really cool. I love the black detailing of it. I would love to have like a nice droid build like this in a buildable figure. Like kind of like the, uh, the R2D2 that was just out. I know it'd be a hard sell probably, but I think it would look really, really good. And I like this figure. Again, I don't know if he has like any, I mean, because the ship wasn't, this scene wasn't in the actual show. Um, he just looks like to me like he's like a made up character. I could very well be wrong, but nonetheless, I'm happy to add him to my collection. I have a TIE Fighter pilot. Looks really, really good. I love the detail on the helmet. I love all the TIE Fighter builds. I really, really do. We're going to keep moving along here. So going all the way around, he looks really, really good. And the back side here, you can see, again, it is just a decent figure. It's a TIE Fighter pilot, so you get what you would expect. But I just love the TIE Fighter helmets. They just, they really, really do it for me. I think they're phenomenal. And just so you can see, he does have a face. Oh, actually, it looks like that's... That's a female TIE Fighter pilot, I, I think, at least. Uh, nothing on the back here. Uh, so this figure, she looks really, really good. I love the helmet. I love the detailing. You can never go wrong with a LEGO Star Wars TIE Fighter pilot. Moving on to the TIE Interceptor. I really, really like this build. Now, it was a monotonous build, as you can tell. You build basically the same four wings, you know, four separate times. You build, like, one, you build two and two two and two the interior pieces like here and here you build the same side both sides is what you would expect from a tie uh but there's not many tie interceptors in the star wars lego star wars universe so it's nice to have one here even though i don't think you really see this in this scene it's an awesome ship this opens up now this is a printed piece here that's a printed piece there on the top as well you know not a ton going on here in the inside of the ship but enough to get your tie fighter pilot in there and here you go, just so you can see the printed piece there. It looks really, really good. And I'm just a huge fan of this set. I'm happy I added it to my collection. I cannot wait to compare this with other TIE Interceptors. Um, one comes to mind uh, that is like similar in size, but definitely different styling. So I cannot wait to compare them. I really, really like this ship. So, you know, I know I mentioned that the Mandalorian Fleet Commander saves the set. But I'm a huge fan of this build here. So this is worth picking up. Like this is something I'd pay $50, $60 for by itself with the two minifigures. I think that would be a fair price for that. And given this is a $100 set, this is well worth $50 to $60 in my opinion. Now stay tuned because we're going to wrap this up and I'll let you know what I think about this set overall. Quickly wrapping up this review. So again, this is a $100 set. It came out on May 1st, which is hard to believe it's been two months already. Um, it's a hundred dollar set. I paid 80 bucks for it. Um, I think for me, I would probably like this, I guess $80 is fair with it being on sale. I wouldn't want to pay a hundred dollars for the set. I don't think it's worth it. Mostly because I'm just not a fan of the Fang Fighter build itself. Now the Mandalorian Fleet Commander is a baller figure. So if anything, you're going to want to get your hands on that figure here. We'll move them right out here. Uh, I also really, really like the R2 uh, E6, I believe it was. Um, Mando figure was good. Like, it's got a great minifigure on it. Let's just put it that way. But that Mandalorian Fleet Commander is the one you're going to want to get your hands on. I really like the fact that you could build it with a partner, friend, child, whatever the case may be. You can just partner build it with anybody. One can build one, one can build the other. Uh, I love this TIE Interceptor. I can't wait to do some comparisons. I'm going to do some comparisons with this one, too. But this one's just going to get probably put in a drawer. It's not going to be on my display. So it's worth picking up. Definitely get it on sale. Don't pay full retail price. This is not one that I think you're getting you know, like your fair uh, deal for at normal retail price. So pick it up on sale. 80 bucks, 70 bucks, whatever the case may be. It's a good price there. Let me know what y'all think. Thank you for watching. And again, if you're new here, 
slap that subscribe button. We have almost daily content between like shorts, Instagram, longs, all that good stuff. So again, thank you guys for watching and go pick up the set on sale at Costco right now.